I mean, I already have a pretty great sword. Rhymes with orange? Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't this my shed? Alright, here's the big question. Quest tracking. The biggest question of them all. I don't see anything on my mini map. I don't see anything on my map. Too bad. Oh uh, yeah, that's right, the plus menu, yeah. <clears throat> Papa Ponte with 23 months? That does mean the FFES is coming back up pretty soon. Sure does. Sure does. Just in a couple months here, man. Thank you for the 23 friggin' months, dude. Hope everything's well with you. <clears throat> well, the feather's supposed to- he, sh he said, on my shed. Maybe that's my shed. It's not much of a shed, but hey. Yeah, isn't that kind of an unfortunate circumstance of getting older? It's like, you, you can finally start enjoying your, your time with a little bit more wisdom, and then it goes faster. Yeah, uh, I fell off the thingy. F. Well, maybe it's in the shed. Die, pumpkins! Yeah, yeah, I'm a rude dude. Haha, <laughs> got them all. You guys ever like uh, dried veggies and, and, and herbs and stuff like this? Like hang them off on a ceiling, just let them dry out? I used to do that with like thyme and sage and stuff. Good stuff. Jump, you fool. How do you dry out time? Well, you just wait a little bit. Ah, oh, I had it too. I don't think that's where the quest is supposed to be. But he said, my barn. Damn it, why does the jumping like not feel right in this game? He said it was like a feather, right? Flurry, a flurry feather born into a sun. Jump your way up to the to the roof of your shed. Saving the bother of doing it. C no, like for cooking, for seasoning, for cooking and stuff. Hey, what's up, Blue Jade? What's going on? This has got to be my shed, because that's my house, right? So confused. You never know what this crowd. 
Nice, how are you enjoying it, dude? I, this is my first time playing it, so... Pretty... Kind of just exploring everything and trying to figure this out. I don't see a feather or anything like that on, on the roof here. Mm. Yeah, yeah, how long did it take me until I figured out you can run in half the games I've played? What was it? Was I think it was I think it was I think it was um What was it? Type 0? It took me like forever before I found out I could uh run. What? Now it's there. What the hell? That little freaking glow was not there before. That glow was not there before. What? What? <laughs> it totally was not there before. I I know what I what? Please tell me the glow was not there before. Please tell me I'm not that blind. It wasn't, okay. Oh, you know what? I probably already had it because I picked up the qu the item already. That's probably what it was. Because I picked up the item already then, and I pro so I probably already had the feather. That's probably what it was. Yeah. Anyway, thanks again, Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why everybody keeps honking at me, but man. Ooh, stamp. Thanks for that. Oh my god. Oh my god, you talk too much. Whoa! Yeah! Woo-ha! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Dude, ballerinas, eat your heart out. That's right. Boom. I can just keep jumping and spinning and jumping and spinning. I'm not playing on Joy-Con, I'm playing on Pro Controller. My Joy-Cons are experiencing the drift. It happened during DQ Builders too, which is funny because that's when they started becoming a problem for people. Is this a shop? It sure is. Hi, do you have anything I can throw on the ground and steal? No, I'm leaving. Shop sucks. You might have armor. Oh, it's not an armor. I still, I guess you still have the item bag, huh? And I still see that this is going to be absurdly annoying to manage equipment. I 
It's a little bit better than, than in previous games, but still kind of annoying. I can't sell that. Yeah, it's still DQ after all, exactly. I mean, I understand that DQ, the, the, one of the things that, that DQ always does is they stick to their guns, you know? <clears throat> and and there's, there, you gotta appreciate that at least a little bit, that they, they, don't, uh, they don't change their game too much. <clears throat> but sometimes a little bit of quality of life can go a long way. So far, they've already introduced quite a bit of good quality of life, like auto run. That's such a great quality of life. Even if you don't want to auto run in a single direction and put it down, you can just really cut off the, the, the strain on your thumb by just doing this. Just auto run it. Hey, look! Oh, oh my God! <laughs> it's one of these guys. Look at this! Look at how swole he is, man. He crushed my head with his hands. Hi, I don't care about you. I don't know anything about you. I'm not even, I'm not even important enough to have a name. But um, you're gonna, I'm gonna miss you and stuff, or whatever. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I'm not gonna eat these skill seeds. I'm just gonna make sure I always have five. Or the pep pop. Until I start getting a bunch of them. Yep, still have a flurry feather. Mom's a wizard! She teleported! Oh, my little soldier's really leaving! Yep, and now you're banished! Forever! Ha <laughs> ha! It was a trick just to get you outside the village, and now you're, you'll never be back again! <laughs> One day you're just a little boy, the next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. <laughs> to think! It's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating in in I mean, since he brought you to Cobblestone. Nice save. We never nice thought save. there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries of all things. You know who the luminary was, of course. A legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. And we're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalky, of course, but it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. Oh, when you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> If he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Whoa! Oh, you are terrible! Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. Oh, no, I'm only joking, of course! The very thought! <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, yes. No. The fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. 
but you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take this map of Erdria with you. May it prove useful in finding your way. It's how they hide from potential predators. Honk! Receives a map of Ar Arior. Whoa, I get my own little pony too? Oh my gosh, it's the best thing ever! And may this magnificent steed, the pride of cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on to your be, way. To be fair, there's more more faces in this game so far than Toriyama You'll has ever Heliodor made in his entire enough. previous career. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. Just so, just so we're clear. <laughs> you travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy, such a good boy. You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. Wait. It's cool that the main character of this game is Bulma. Here, take this with you. I. I don't know if I we can both fit on the you. on the horse though, and the dog. That'll be really awkward. It will keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Belmont, thank you for be two sure months. Resub, dude. Close, Thirteen months. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Uh, I don't know what's in store for you out there, but wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't. Don't forget us. Don't okay? forget us. Don't, don't, for, don't forget us. Don't forget Take care us. Don't. <laughs> and remember, we'll be waiting for you. Wow, she's not going to come with me? This is the worst game ever. Horses are an incredibly convenient way to cover large amounts of ground in very little time, but you'll sometimes have to enter areas that can only be explored on foot. Don't despair, though. A ring on one of the many summoner bells dotted around Edriar will soon bring your faithful friend galloping back to your side. Dude, are you serious? The game? Oh my god, this is really good controls, too. Like, it looks silly that I'm doing this on a horse, but dude, Ocarina of Time horse controls are freaking awful. But I'm just gonna spin around on my horse a little bit, okay? Don't mind me. <laughs> ah, honk! There you are. <laughs> Well, if you were given a, I uh, see this this bell here. But if you get a ring, a fine steed will gallop up out of nowhere, just like that. Get to remember if your feet are getting sore, and what if you lost or is tired? Easy, just press Y to take a look at your map. What's more, pressing A once you get in your map open will allow you to access all sorts of useful information. I'm sure it's all written in the traveler's tips in the back there, but you can't go over things too often. <clears throat> all right, Z R. Holy crap, this is where the hor the actual horse, like, lack of steering comes into play. Oh my god. No jumping on horses, though. Bum, 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 bum. I mean, to be fair, listen, like, as, as realistic as possible is nice. Sometimes being realistic gets in the way of enjoying the game because like look at look at Ocarina of Time You could say that the horse riding like turning and, and physics are actually pretty realistic for that game And it is a pain in the ass to control. It's annoying, you know You're constantly having to like do this weird backing up and stuff on the horse and everything. It makes it 
awkward and annoying and frustrating, you know? So having, like, nice, smooth controls is better than having realism in this, in this case. I am a... Awkward arena of time. <laughs> Come on, get in there. Come on, I know you can do it. Maybe not. That looks very much like my backyard, not gonna lie. Except without, like, the forest down below, but yeah. That's very similar. Oh, setting off on a big adventure, are y'all? Oh, going north if you're heading to Helidor, mind how you go now. From north. The mango groove. Have your guts for garters? Wow. I guess I don't want people to wear my guts as garter belts. Well, I mean, li listen, it, you gotta pick and choose what you make realistic, you know? You, like, first off, you gotta understand magic and fantasy are at play here in a lot of games. So, like, people getting all butthurt about, like, Blitzball because they're holding their breath for a long time when you could just easily just say magic, you know? The end. <laughs> but it... it, it <laughs> See what I mean by picking and choosing your realisms? If people, if, if they just didn't make Blitzball underwater, then people yeah. wouldn't make that stupid comments about, you know, breathing underwater, and then that'd be less griping. I mean, I like, I like exploring and climbing on things. Like, when I played World of Warcraft, I spent all my time just, like, trying to climb stuff. Oh, I got him! Blind! That's right. Get out of my face. Interesting, I, I figured you'd be able to jump up there and get something, but I was wrong. Now here's a big question. Can I sword combat them and get the, the surprise attack on them? And the answer is, I can't. That is that is unfortunately, unfortunate. I really don't like the fact that I have to get off my horse to get the preempt uh, swing on them. I'm getting a... I'm getting a really big FF10 vibe out of a lot of animations and uh, designs on this game. It, it, it's feeling very FF10 in a lot of ways. Controls, animations, battle scene, everything. I also like how it takes the actual area that I'm in uh, for the battle scene. That's really cool. Cute slimes! Ay, ay, ay! Ay, ay, ay! I am enjoying DQ11. This is the first time I played the game, so it's completely yeah. new to me. So I'm just enjoying the game in general. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've played a lot of Final Fantasy X, considering I used to speedrun it. So, I mean, like, uh, having, like, seeing, seeing something that relates to FF10, to me, is going to be a lot more easy to, to, to notice, I think. 
So also something I just noticed, there's a grass effect, but I don't think the grass effect is coming from the environment. I think it's like an over the screen overlay kind of thing, like it's a top layer, but it's done in such a way that it looks like it's coming from the environment itself. But, it, but basically what that means is like if I change the camera angle, it's not gonna change how the grass effect goes, but it might just be because it's hard to see. Don't know yet. Still figuring that out. Okay, monsters respawn almost instantly. That's interesting. I guess it's kind of cool if you want to grind or whatever. This is the Switch version, yeah. What's up, February? So many things people have told me that I didn't know were part of this uh, version just make it so much the definitive version. Like I already knew you had the 2D to 3D swap and a couple other things like new content dungeons and things like that, but there's also like costume, like unique costume equipment, meaning like you don't have to equip it as armor, you can equip it under the costume submenu to like make the costume a costume and, and still keep your armor. Apparently that wasn't part of the original version either. And a lot of other like, uh, oh, the orchestrated OST. I didn't know that was a thing either. I thought it was orchestrated. I, I thought it was not going to have orchestrated. I thought it was going to be MIDI like the original. So, I mean, this is like the fact that I waited for the Switch version to play this game makes me really happy because I get to experience this for the first time in a much, much better environment. Like, I don't know how else to say it other than the fact that uh, when you first played this game and you were like, wow, this is great, I'm having such a great time with this game, I'm getting that except, like, multiplied, you know? <laughs> Playing the game again is not going to give you that same first-time play feeling. And it, you know how they say, like, what's, what's the expression? Like, um, first impressions matter, you know, kind of thing? That's, that's what this is. It, I'm, I'm so glad that I waited for the Switch version. I, this is this is such such a great experience. No, the synthesized version of the MIDI OST isn't bad per se, but I mean it's just better orchestrated. You know, it's kind of like how it's not a bad thing that you you can't put on the costumes, but it sure as hell is better that you can. You know. Having the 2D and 3D swap version uh, mode isn't terrible to not have it, but I sure it is a hell of a lot better to have it. Really pretty. All those little rocks and stuff, and the water that you can see them popping up and things. Love it. Really good texturing, uh, wall design, and everything. I like how this cave looks like half man-made and half natural, you know? It's like, you know, they started they started digging it out, but then like, you know, this part of the cave kind of crumbled in and you can see, you can see that this wall, wall part of the wall kind of goes in a little bit, right? It goes in a little bit here, but then there's this puddle of dirt here. It's almost like it kind of, it kind of crumpled down from the top as they were digging through it. And it's like, whatever, leave it, you know, kind of thing. It just has, it has this nice sort of like, I don't know. It just feels like an actual cave that's existed over time, but created by men, created by people, you know? Yeah! Oh shit, oh! oh. What the hell? What? <laughs> that bird just popped! What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, did so <laughs> I didn't even see that. That's actually hilarious timing that someone actually just tried to spoil that right as that happened. <laughs> it's the first time that's happened. <laughs> you can gallop into monsters, man. That's amazing.